Hi, it's Jones again, and I'm just about to start doing my uh, last video, so it's a bit sad. Well, my last My Sims one. I've decided to trade the game in a bit early because I'm getting very bored. Um, this is what I was going to do in the series next. It's a TARDIS bridge, which I thought was quite good. I was going to save it till the end of Doctor Who, so if you're, ah, Doctor Who! Um, but if you want it made, you're going to have to do it now. Um, I'm a bit short on time because I want to do three, get through um, three things that I've made, and I've only got a short time to do it. Um, so I'll just show you generally how to make each one. Uh, the Tidus Bridge, uh, to start off with, is a, uh, a decorated fridge or something. It's the second type of fridge you get. And what you do, I'll just put these over here. A bit hard to see because of the colours or paint them. That's a normal colour. It's just um, have one uh, square that will um, raise it up one on the base. Then four big blocks up like you would a normal fridge. And then you have to give it a, a sort of coat of armour of extra blocks. Um, just these ones you can see. Okay, um, and put them all around the bottom half. Oh, and to give it a bit of extra volume around the bottom, um, you give it these big chunky blocks um, around the side to give it like a skirting. Um, next, oh, this blue which is video game blue, which is the best one to use. Uh, also gives it a nice sci-fi effect for the people you might want to give it to. Um, they put little skirt, uh, little skirting around the sides. You don't put any of the skirting on the front because it won't let you. Um, and you fill in these, the bit above it, with five identical little blocks this big. Um, paint the outside two a dark blue and the inside three a nice white to give a window feel. Um, this bit is like you put down at the bottom, put it in. Um, up the top um, there's another bit of skirting, a bit thinner this time. Uh, you paint that black, um, which is, hold on let me find the sheet which is snake, snake essences, um, and for the top you've got these um, sort of roof imp, uh, type things, you put a big one and a little one and that'll go around um, a central block, slot in there, or not, I've lost it, mm, there it is, and on the top you can use um, one of the transparent essences for this, but I used a nice cake, because um, the flash is nice and white, a little cylinder on the top. Um, just paint it all in. Where are we? Um, um, and you just, oh goodness, you just paint it in nice and blue. Like that. Um, and that's pretty much the TARDIS done. Um, if you need any extra um, help on building it, just leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Um, that's the TARDIS done. Um, so now we will move on to my second creation I want to show you. I'm a bit bored of this game now. Um, it is really good, um, but you know everything's got a shelf life. Um, and here is the pirate ship bed, which I thought was very good. Um, it's got a keel, it's got a keel and the 
panels and a little cabinet at the back and the sails, which I was really pleased with. But here's what makes it great. Right next to the crow's nest, you see that? There's a pirate ship flag. And that made me really pleased when I was uh, building that. Right, this is a bit harder to build, but you know, you should be able to grasp it um, without um, any help. But if you do need help, just leave a comment. Uh, you fill in the basic bed template with these um, just normal blocks. Uh, use the quarter cylinder ones around the edge, just build it up, nice um, hole shape, I think you can see that. Um, this is just the normal wood shape, wood colour, there we go, don't need many essences. Um, oh, the last one, uh, the Tardis Bridge, took 10 cakes, 8 snakes and 42 video game essences, uh, I forgot to say that, it will all be in the, in the description. Um, and this one only takes 19 gingerbread men and one skeleton, uh, with, and the rest of it is just normal painting. Um, you should be able to figure out how to do the, um, the main hull yourself. If you look here, I'll give it a good viewpoint, you can pause the video and copy it down. Um, the hull is just progressively bigger, no, the, uh, the bit that goes in the water first, whatever it is, um, is just made out of progressively bigger bits of um, these pipes, all layered on each other. Let's do this one first, the middle one, and just lay them um, coming out. You've got some bigger one. You've got some uh, ones on the horizontal um, to close it up nicely. Uh, the steering wheel, which uh, my friend Matt uh, pointed out, they have the steering wheel, wheel at the back of the pirate ship, so you might not might not want to put that on, but it's a nice touch. Not really much room back here. Um, for the pillow, just add on another section here. Um, these ramp bits, the same bits that were on the roof of the TARDIS, um, just build up for the back. Um, here, the captain's cabin with the window, and then uh, you should be able to see how that's fit together. Just lots of little sloping bits. Uh, but for the sails, you want to have. You don't want to have it too tall because then it won't uh, fit anywhere. But you want to have one of these little, um, I think they're the medium, uh, well I've used up all the blocks on it, but I think they're the medium um, sized uh, cylinders and this one is the tallest one you can get. Um, two little ones springing out. And for the sails, you want to use uh, gingerbread man essences, uh, the white version. Um, you'll have two massive little planes here, um, and these little bumps, um, I think you've got to have a town level of three to get them, maybe two, probably three. Um, oh god, painted it. Um, and they just lift off like that, and you just lay, lay them on like that. You paint them in, um, and for the crow's nest, just four little blocks, oh goodness me, uh, four little blocks um, on top of each other, on top of the uh, main sail thingy, um, little cylinders for flags, and just keep cycling the uh, skeleton essence on this until you get this nice scary skull and crossbones-esque one. Um, I think that's all for the pirate ship. Um, any questions on it? Um, 